Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making mini pom pom pets. Let's go. Okay guys, so as I said in the intro, um, we are going to be making mini pom pom pets. So, um, this is by my favorite brand, Klutz. You guys should go check out their stuff because their craft kits are so fun and so amazing. So, I'm not testing this kit out because I have already made some very cute animals, but I will be making another one. Um, so, before we start, I just want to say a message first. It's too bright. There we go. I just want to say something that there were so many videos that I've lost to videos that I can't upload or I could not same thing I can't upload or I forgot to upload so there's so many videos that I have like lost in my photos and I forgot to upload them but I am working on a rock video now and I promise I will get that done um, but yeah so if you guys are wondering why I haven't been posting some days it's because I have I did the video but then I forgot to upload it or so, so Klutz is a very trusty, uh, trusty brand because they have entire books on what you're supposed to make. So I'm going to go through it and see um, what animals there are. So I have my pom-pom maker. You don't need these if you're going to use a kit. You can use a fork. You can use your hand, um, but there's random pom-poms in here. It comes with a lot of yarn, which is good, and ugh, mm, so much fuzz. And it comes with a little tiny baby glue, and pom-poms for the eyes, and string for the tails. And it does come with a measuring tape, too. So, yeah, I'm going to look through the book and see which one. I don't want to make the too complicated one. Sea turtle's pretty cute. Panda's cute. I think there's like a, oh yeah, you can make a fox, sea turtle, monkey, skunk, raccoon, bear, walrus, mouse, squirrel, elephant, lion, panda, koala, and so much more. I'm going to look at the elephant. It's 38, page 38. There's more than 38 pages, guys. Oh wow, the elephant is really big. Okay, I'm not going to make the elephant. I'm going to make the little mouse. Let's find it. Where'd he go? Mousey. This is going to be a long video. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Mouse, mouse, mouse. Mouse! He's so cute! That's the little mouse. Okay, wire tails. No, I want to make the actual mouse. Let's see. It's on 33. Okay, here he is. So, we'll need one brown pom-pom. So, we need the brown yarn. So, let's make the pom-pom. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, where's the end? I'm gonna speed this up for you guys. Hey guys, it's future me. So right now I'm just making the pom-pom brown, but I thought brown was a little boring, so I added a bit of white on the bottom, so now it's gonna be a brown and white mouse. I think it's gonna be so much cuter, so yeah, I'm just making the pom-pom. It took a while, so hope you enjoyed. So I got my pillow because I was getting uncomfortable. 
Um, if you guys don't know how to make a pom-pom, you basically, or with a pom-pom maker, you just wrap your yarn as much as you want around the pom-pom maker, and then you gotta cut it on the slits. Be careful you don't cut yourself. Oh wow, this yarn is much easier to cut. This part does not take a while, you just kinda gotta cut it on the slit. See how there's slits inside? You gotta kinda, you have to cut the yarn in those slits. So then it'll look like that. If you want it to be thicker, there will be more yarn. Wow, this is a lot thicker. I prob probably because I used two layers, so I got more yarn inside. Um, and then after you cut it, you got a cut. You have to cut another piece of yarn, so you have to cut a smaller piece, about like that long, and then you gotta wrap it around the whole thing. And then you wrap it around and tie it. Make sure it's not too short like mine is. Wrap it around. And like that, you can tie it twice if you want to. Just get it super tight. And then you lift it up. <gasps> but it's not tight enough. Make sure it's really, really tight, as tight as you want it. Lift it up again. Then, you have your super cute pom-pom. I'm gonna tie it again. Don't worry if a little piece comes out, it's okay. It's just the yarn. Also, I want you guys to comment down below um, what video I should do tomorrow because I need more ideas for you guys. Like, what you like. Okay, so here's my super cute pom-pom. It's got a little white stripe on it. So this is my pom-pom. It's super fluffy and when I make it into a mouse, it's gonna be even cuter. Okay, so make the mouse out of one of the mini, make a mouse out of one of, out of one mini pom-pom. Oh yeah, this is the like medium size pom-pom, so. Finish the mouse. Um, the mouse tail is going to take a long time. Okay, so after this, we just got to add the extra amenities. So, let me go get them and then we'll be back. So guys, we have two problems. One, this video is way too long. Two, um, it, it doesn't really look like a mouse. So, I think I'm gonna leave him as a fluff ball and call him a fluff ball. But I'm gonna cut his hair so that we can see his ears better. I honestly don't know why I'm doing this on my bed. Okay, so now you can see his ears a little better. His eyes are still covered up, so I think I'm gonna cut like some out of that. But we're gonna call him a little fluffy bear or something. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and 
We'll see you tomorrow. Also, I need you guys to comment down below. Um, why do I? I need you guys to comment down below and um, on my comment and um, tell me what video I should do tomorrow. And I'm not gonna do a video if you guys don't comment. Also, I do. I'm just kidding. I do know that you guys don't see my videos right away. I am shout out to Addie and Emma and Stella who do see my videos right away. So thank you for doing that. Make sure you subscribe if you want to and like this video if you want to. But also turn on your notifications so you never, ever, ever, ever miss a video. Okay, bye guys.